This is a story of a trip that was not an easy one, but a few friends committed to make the most of it, while diving in two different realities in less than ideal conditions. This is the beginning of a fun adventure in the middle of the Atlantic. Portugal mainland is not your typical go-to destination for a spearfishing trip. Don't get me wrong, this is where I grew up and I absolutely love diving here. But rough seas, bad vis, cold waters and just being hard to get what some might consider a small fish are just some of the reasons why this might not be a good bet if you're traveling for spearfishing. However, I do believe it's good to get out of your comfort zone. And so does Fawaz, a good buddy who joined me for a few days of what would end up being one of the funnest trips I've had this year. Even though our main goal was to explore the beautiful Azores, Fawaz decided to give it a shot at experiencing the mainland where I grew up spearfishing. I was actually pretty stoked to show our beautiful coastline, but I'm not gonna lie, spearfishing in Portugal is not easy. That is also why I believe this is a great place to improve your skills in different areas and just become an overall better hunter. A one kilo seabream here is considered a nice fish and sometimes if you're lucky you might get a nice sea bass which is one of the most iconic species in these waters. I just had a couple awesome days with Hui, one of my best friends who tagged along, so we were stoked to go out with Fawaz, but as usual, the west coast did not cooperate and a strong north wind along with some swell made our options scarce. So while it was fun to drive along the coastline, we eventually had to make the call and go for a sheltered place. And the conditions were far from ideal. So we checked the shallows and a few holes. Uh, but the lack of fish made us focus on just getting lobster. I believe we have some of the best seafood in the world and the structures alone make for a fun dive in my opinion. I just love how eerie some of these caves are and inside them you can find a unique delicacy. We call them bruxas in Portuguese and they are one of the most appreciated seafood in our waters. They also live in very specific places, so it was fun to show Fawaz how to find and get them. We did a few more dives here and there, got a couple new species, and the day was done. We spent the next couple days enjoying around Lisbon, but we could only think about what was next to be honest. The main goal for this trip, the Azores. The visit to the Oceanario definitely got us pumped for some big fish and good vis. It was time to go.
so after a couple flights, we were finally in the islands. We drove around only to find out the conditions were not great. But still good enough to go for a shore dive on a little secret spot I have. This rock usually is full of island groupers, being common to see lots of small fish and sometimes a bit deeper there's some monster ones, like this one that is well over 7 kilos. There is one reason why this spot has so much fish. I don't hit it often and when I do, I only allow myself or my friends to take one fish max. Most times we just come here to film and interact with them. If we feel like it, we'll take one for dinner, but not more. There's no legislation in Portugal regarding the use of scooter while spearfishing. This is something I never do, but Fawaz wanted to try it out here to warm up. This is almost like a different sport, and he agreed to only get a couple fish while using it. It's pretty cool when you can see this kind of stuff on a shore dive. And this is one of the reasons I love it here. You're constantly seeing a lot of life and you never really know what can swim by. We then decided to do a few deeper dives on the drop-off, looking for something different. It was fun to work as a team using the scooter. You really need to know your body and have a good understanding of each other's skills and behavior. In my case, I would wait for Fawaz to dive and then I would get a ride holding on to his leg. This was something quite new to me. I was pretty stoked to see this perfect eating size white trevally coming in. And below 30 meters, it was nice to have a ride on the way up. With this, we had a great dinner sorted and Fawaz decided to do just one last dive before we would swim back to shore. This is the most beautiful reef fish in the Azores, in my opinion. And it was awesome to see Fawaz toe to lands, what is one of my favorite species here. Diving deep caves for monster trevallis, shallow bays, deep pinnacles, or crazy hikes. With the forecast at hand, we know the next days are gonna be challenging. 